Now to tonight's other big stories. Disturbing details about the culture at NBC News continue to come out following yesterday's surprise firing of Matt Lauer, the longtime host of the Today Show. In the wake of his firing, NBC head Andrew Lack released a statement saying that the sexual harassment complaint against Lauer was, quote, the first complaint about his behavior in the over 20 years he's been at NBC. But now other reports say that is false. It's a lie. A detailed investigation published yesterday by Variety says multiple women indeed complained to NBC News executives about Lauer's behavior over the years, but they were ignored. Robin Satuta and Elizabeth Wegmeister wrote the Variety story, the often quoted one, and they join us uh, tonight. Um, so, Elizabeth, first to you. The, the statements from NBC changed. It was noted a lot today. The statements yesterday, the first one said, you know, there have been no complaints that we're aware of. And the second one said that current management has been aware of. Is that a significant change? And what would account for that? You know, that's actually what we had been hearing consistently when we were reporting this, that they kept saying at NBC, the current management, the current regime. Uh, Ramin and I, as we reported this story, we spoke to many different sources, many different women who have been there for ranging years of Lauer's career. So we have spoken to women that were there from the current, uh, you know, the current uh, regime and the old regime. So with NBC saying that they were only aware of one claim, to us, really, whether it's the current or the old regime doesn't really matter because we had heard that there were multiple claims. Yeah, and I mean, so far you have the definitive account, I think, that I've seen uh, of what was going on there. Thank uh, you, so, Sarah. I mean, why haven't we heard directly from Andy Lack or Noah Oppenheim, who's the head of the news division, on this, to, to publicly clarify, to sit down and explain what they knew? I think that's a fair question to ask as a journalist, and I think that um, as a, two reporters that have been covering this story um, pretty aggressively, we would like to interview either of them. So if either of them would like to sit down with us to talk about the statement that was put out yesterday and the use of the word current um, executives, that would be great. And current well, management, I, that you, would be great. You'd like to interview them, of course, so would yeah. I. But I'd also think, since you have the biggest repository we know of of information mm -hmm. on this subject, they'd want to interview you too for their internal investigation. Have they called you? They have not. And Tucker, this, going back to that um, use of the word current management, um, yeah. according to our discussions with NBC, they are actually defining that in a very narrow circle of only a few people. And so according to our reporting, there are people that work at the Today Show, staffers, producers, um, anchors, current and previous anchors um, of the Today Show that were aware that there had been complaints about Matt Lauer's alleged con conduct toward women that made women uncomfortable and where he sexually harassed women that he worked with. Yeah, I mean, I think I think your piece nails that. I mean, it's just it's really clear in reading it um, that you, you have the goods in that. What's interesting, though, this is, by my count, the third event at NBC and NBC News where we were supposed to get some kind of internal investigation on the results. You first had the leaking of the Excess Hollywood tape during the last campaign, and then the question of, you know, why did Andy Lack and Noah Oppenheim squelch the Harvey Weinstein story? And we haven't really gotten a straight answer on either one of those, or have we? Have I missed it? No, we don't have an answer on either one. Of do you do you expect that we're going to get a clear accounting in this case? I think that I think that we, we may not get a clear account unless unless staffers start to talk about what's going on. I think I think right. it's important, and, and there are questions to see. There are questions about if the Ronan Farrow um, story didn't air because of these allegations. There are questions about what NBC staffers knew at what time. There are questions about. Um, why this conduct was allowed to go on for so long and these are all things that we're reporting. Yeah. What we will say too is we have had, since our story is posted, we have had many more people reach out to us and encourage us to continue to look into not just Matt Lauer but NBC as a whole and of course we are going to be doing that. Yeah, I, mean, I know a lot of people who work there uh, and some of them are good people and they're horrified by this. Elizabeth, just to sum up quickly the, the, the tone of the conversations that you're having with NBC employees now. The conversations that we are having with NBC employees, is that what you said? Yeah, what's, I mean, what's their view of this? It looks, from your reporting, like the network covered up abuse that was going on for an awfully long time. How do people who work there feel about that? People are really shocked right now. I mean, when Matt Lauer was fired yesterday, we spoke to many sources. We're not going to say if we spoke to people, you know, currently within NBC or former NBC employees, but people were really shocked 
that he was fired because of the power that he held there. They really never thought that he would go away. And of course, with that comes the people that would be protecting Matt Lauer, who would be his bosses. So people there are really shocked. And I think that they're also waiting for answers, as Ramin said. Yeah, I mean, it's relatively easy to fire Matt Lauer. It's the executives who protected him, I think, might be more interesting. Ramin, Elizabeth, thank you. Great reporting. Thank you. Really thank you, a public service.